Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, version 1.48 edition. Clearly my Spanish has fallen apart there. We are going to continue to play as Isaac, because I'm no-nonsense right now. Maximizing my number of chances of getting Guppy's hairball. I'm at the point where I almost think... As we run into Envy on the first fucking room, by the way. Worst possible result that could have happened for us right now, but we'll try to survive this. Maybe we'll get an attack fly or something out of it if we see some little blue envies, that is a possibility. If not, I'm not sure if it is. I might just be talking out of my ass right now. Which would explain why my breath smells so bad. Alright, it's early in the morning. Lovely, beautiful August day. Um, starting to think that maybe, for some reason, the cat achievement is glitched for me, even though I did turn into a cat once, get the achievement. Maybe for some reason Guppy's hairball isn't unlocked, so maybe I have to become a cat again? Or maybe, I mean that's the thing when you're looking for one item in Isaac. An item that no less requires you to, um, you know, meet some kind of special condition. Well, that was unlikely, but kind of awesome. Except for the fact that it's the razor blade and I probably shouldn't have wasted a reroll on it. Well, I guess it, it was originally the laser, but either way I'm not taking a, a spacebar item with me. So, we'll continue on this way. You know, I am going to take Fire Rate up. I'm not going to reroll that. I'm going to try to reroll the Razor Blade again. Even though I'm trying to... I know that Guppy's Hairball can only appear in Treasure Rooms. As far as I know, anyway. That's what I've been told. That was a total waste. Um, despite knowing that, sometimes I still find myself not wanting to reroll the items from the Treasure Rooms. Odd Mushroom's a great item. I used to turn on my nose a little bit to these basically tears upgrades or fire rate upgrades, but no longer. Because if you don't get any damage upgrades, this is pretty much your only way to improve your DPS. But anyway, as we pick up more red hearts than we could possibly need. Yeah, that's the thing, when you're looking for one item, especially an item that requires like a special circumstance to unlock, you don't necessarily know all the time, especially when the game is as glitchy as Isaac has been in, you know, previous versions. Um... And I guess the current version due to that, like, pink glitch. Ah, that was poor. Luckily we've got red hearts scattered everywhere. But you never know if, if you're just missing out on the item through, like, random chance or bad luck. Or if, you know, maybe something went wrong and you actually don't have it unlocked. So I don't know. I'm second guessing myself. I probably shouldn't. You all saw the episode. Or at least a certain percentage of you saw the episode where I became a cat. I don't remember the number of it specifically. But I assure you that it does indeed exist. I do have this achievement locked away somewhere in my memory. I'm going to take the speed upgrade. And then I'm going to move back and re-roll the uh, razor back here. In the hopes of picking up a better item that maybe is not a spacebar item. We'll see. It's the tarot cards. Uh, so we will get one tarot card out of this. The lovers. Not a bad card, necessarily. Allows us, before we get spirit hearts anyway, to possibly go to a self-sacrifice room. Come out unscathed. Save us from a dire circumstance where we're fighting a boss and things are getting a little rough, who knows. All in all, it was a pretty poor first floor for item drops, but we did get Odd Mushroom, so I can't complain too much. Because if you're not going to get a damage upgrade, Odd Mushroom or Cancer or something like that are, are great... Oh, get out of there. Great trinkets and uh, passive items to get. Step one, of course, as usual, immolate their, uh, get rid of the fire so we can't get any more immolated hoppers going on here. I do kind of hate this room, though. And as you will note, I have already taken some damage, which is unfortunate, but getting those bombs is nice because I was a little bit sore. Oh man, I was a little bit sore on, on that front. Taking way too much damage. But, how am I going to turn this around? Well, we'll go to the self-sacrifice room right after this, and we will... That was close. Um, use our lover's card when we leave. Dead cat! Wow, okay. Let's get crazy. Um, this is what we did in, like, episode 261 or something, where I ended up fighting Conquest a hundred times in a row. I think it's better to get the dead cat early on in the game. Because I think it actually allows us to, you know, build up some health, <clears throat> pardon me, build up some health on this run. As opposed to just being taken down to one heart on a run where I'd already built up some health. Which is what had happened there. Well, I wasn't that far in the game, but I was on, like, the caves or something. Caves 2, maybe depths 1, I can't remember. I had Book of Revelations too, it was kind of a disappointing way for things to go down. But I'm not disappointed that we found a treasure room so early. Might be able to sneak in a couple rerolls, certainly one, if necessary. And of course remember, we are looking for Guppy's Hairball, not Gish. 
Not Kamikaze. I would have preferred Gish, like a, a thousand times over. That guy is actually kind of cool. One of my favorite familiars, to be sure. And one of the reasons that I prefer... Or I, I prefer not to have blue ba or, uh, Rainbow Baby in certain situations is because of the fact that, you know, some of those familiars I actually prefer to the randomness of the familiars inherent with the Rainbow Baby experience. Rainbow Baby experience, by the way, the name of my uh, kids' multi-tolerant biracial pop group. Rainbow Baby. Yeah, Rainbow Baby experience. They also... The, you know, they, they act like they're all tolerant and goody-goody, but those kids can get fucking high, man. In fact, the reason they call it Rainbow Baby is because one of the seven-year-olds after, you know, second grade gym class came back and he said, Yo, dude, when I was in gym class today, I got so high, I thought I saw a Rainbow Baby. This is a weird tangent. Let's take some pills. Speed up. We're gonna be real fucking fast. Now, let's see what we got here. Tears down, that sucks, but we do have odd mushrooms, so... Hey, bombs are key. That's alright, we could use extra keys. We could also use extra bombs at this point, but... Key, when you have zero keys, I think the keys are more important than the bombs are. Now, of course, we could go to the shop, but we don't wanna. We are almost too fast for our own good. Right off the bat, that's... Oh, I should've re-rolled, but it doesn't really matter. We'll go back and get another reroll in. I don't hold out a lot of hope. We're kind of just like, this is me going to the casino with like five hundred dollars and just putting it in penny slots one at a time. Eventually, I'm gonna hit something, even if I end up losing my sanity in the long run and losing a lot of money. All right, well we will go with Ghost Baby because we can't reroll anything else. We'll get the fuck out of here. And like Ghost Baby can't even shoot as fast as I can run. I don't know if you can measure those things on the same scale, but if you could, that's where we'd be right now. Oh, well, I could die on this room. Lose one life on this room anyway. If I'm gonna lose lives, I'd rather lose them now than lose them after I, you know, accrued some more health. And I might get my wish. Speed upgrade may have actually saved my life right there. But of course, these guys are not gonna get in a position where I can hit them easily. Come on, there we go. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. Mm -mm. What do we have in here? Golden chest, why not? Uh, we could either take skeleton key or reroll skeleton key. I think, oh, that was bad. Maybe we won't be able to take skeleton key or reroll skeleton key. I think we'll take it. The reason, of course, being, I gotta do something here, yeah. The reason, of course, being that, um, I, if I rerolled it, I don't think I could get Guppy's Hairball anyway from the Golden Chest. I think it only appears in Treasure Rooms. So, Skeleton Key is going to give me as many chances as I want to go to those Treasure Rooms. And not be barred by restricted access to keys. So, I think that's a smart decision. Plus, we wouldn't be wasting a reroll, which means we could use it on the Treasure Room, should we discover one eventually. Oh, that was bad dodging. I want to get back to the, the heart over here, but I don't want to risk my own death. Do you think if a dude really had a keyhole on his forehead, he could find somebody to fuck it and film it? I think he could. I mean, I'm just talking out loud here. I'm not saying I would watch it. You guys are the sickos. I'm not a sicko. But, uh, yeah, probably. Let's see what we got down here. Nothing I can afford, sadly. Spirit Heart could be nice. Uh, 9 Volt is better in the long run, for sure. But, I mean, in terms of success, I mean, I'm not that worried about actually succeeding. I'm more worried about getting Guppy's Hairball. Beating the game with Eve, moving on to Platinum God, regaining my sanity, and, and enjoying playing Isaac again without worrying too much about the very spec blah, 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 the specifics of the item drops that come about. We got another pill here. Should be good. What did I tell you? Well, it was decent anyway. Might save me a little bit of damage on this room. Always welcomed. Thank God, now we get only key drops. Now that I have a skeleton key. That makes key drops pretty much worthless to me. I can't believe I'm still alive on this single heart, but I guess this is like having a poor Judas run. Or at least a poor one for health perspectives. Okay, keep moving around and down here. Lots of red hearts I can't use. Broken mirror! Uh, that's a great item. 
That's a really great item. I don't want to reroll that. I want to take this with me so I can make this run a little bit longer. It's unfortunate, but hey. Uh, that's a damage upgrade plus a uh, health upgrade, both of which I'm kind of in, in dire need for. So I think this was a good decision. We'll see what kind of stuff we can come across down here as well. I, I would have gotten another chance for a reroll. Maybe maybe that is my my um, Achilles heel here, is that when I get good items, if the, if the troll engine wants to keep me perpetually at Golden God instead of Platinum God, all it will do is give me good items that I can't pass up in the treasure room. Because I can't commit to like unequivocally giving up good items. I'm like, ah, well, maybe we can get Guppy's hairball on the next floor. What are the odds that I'm going to get Guppy's hairball on this reroll? Well, it's at that point, why am I even carrying the D6 with me? Might as well. Just make my own way with, with Eve or something. Try to kill two birds with one stone. Get it? Because Eve has a bird. And Rainbow Baby as a group is stoned constantly. Alright, we got lucky to not have to waste our second bomb. We got enough money to buy something from the shop. I could buy Spirit Heart and 9 Volt. I forgot what else was in there. But we'll see. 9 Volt would be fantastic. I would prefer something like a compass because we don't know if 9 Volt is ever actually going to come in handy for us. But this is an okay way to spend your, your time as well. Could have rerolled those, but I'm going to save my reroll for the boss. And every time I say reroll, if you're not drinking, you should be. So we're going to move down to the boss here, Catacombs Part 1. Hoping for an HP upgrade, honestly, at this point. Wouldn't sneeze at a damage upgrade. This dude has a tendency to be kind of okay. However, only Ghost Baby has Spectral Tears. Also, these guys are shooting bullets, and every time they shoot bullets, they're changing the direction a little bit. Which is a little bit uncomfortable for me. Messes up my pattern recognition a little bit. Luckily, their bullets can't go through... Oh, and they create silkworms every time they get hit, or every time a body section breaks. Oh, no! I knew it! I can't successfully dodge every single time, despite the predictability of them bouncing around like an old DVD player screensaver. There's borderline Tom Waits lyric there. Okay, we're almost done here with the pseudo-Larry Juniors. Now we've just got a regular room full of asshole silkworms. If I can trigger them one by one, basically trick them. One more, we'll do it. There we go. Pageant Boy, I do not like, so we'll reroll that. Two tiers plus two spirit art upgrades from Squeezy. What do you got for me, Satan? Krampus? I could deal with Krampus right now. Or we can become permanently flying. Why not? Um, and do this shit too. I was thinking, like, we have nine lives, so it doesn't really matter, except I might be shooting myself in the foot. Uh, when it comes to surviving for a long time, but you know, you know, as they, as Night Ranger said, we're here for a good time, not a long time. That, that was a Night Ranger. I can't remember. Some like Canadian shit rock band. Not to judge anybody's musical taste. Okay, can we just not do this this way? I would rather. I always practice safe sets. This is not working so... Okay, well, actually, it worked out perfectly. Never mind, I was just being a drama queen. Uh, we're gonna hope that we find the... Treasure Room ASAP. That stands for, uh, As Sunny as Philadelphia. And maybe we will... Nope. That is certainly not where we want to be. And yeah, let's just take some stupid damage from me standing there being like, Duh, why doesn't the TNT work, boss? There we go. That's the chain reaction I was more looking for. Thanks for the red hearts now that I couldn't possibly need them. Uh, but you know, the, the thing is, even if I die with this permutation of my nine lives, it doesn't really matter. This iteration of my nine lives, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we haven't gotten any health upgrades anyway, so it's not like I, I'm, I'd be losing. We got one health upgrade, excuse me, by way of the odd mushroom. But it, it, it's not like the difference between two hearts and one heart is not that substantial. We gotta go our own way regardless. Call it another wrathy day here. We sneak in behind them without getting hit. Answer yes. Thank God we got back to 99 keys. I was getting a little bit self-conscious and worried there about our chances moving forward if we only had 98. What if I came across a room with 99 locked chests? I would have to choose which one to leave. I can't handle that kind of responsibility. That kind of pressure. Let's move around. 
<coughs> excuse me, and we will see what we come across here. Ooh, that was scary. Anytime you make a pass around these guys, you always feel scared because uh, they could just shoot their green bomb into the wall right as you move by. And it won't hurt them, it will only hurt you. Which hardly seems fair, really. I'm all about equality in the Binding of Isaac. Everyone should be able to be damaged by the same items. Except for me, of course. I mean, that's obvious. That is, like, uh, Poison Touch, I think. We reroll it to get all stats up. I can't pass it up. It's such a great item. Oh, I guess all stats up except health. If I had known that, I probably would have passed it up. You know what, this this episode is going to be called Compromise, because instead of doing what I wanted to do, I just keep compromising and being like, ah, oh, you know, this is a good item. You could also call it Trickery, Troll Engine, Version Benevolent, I don't know. It sounds like a Prince album. Troll Engine, Version Benevolent. Uh, okay, yes, we'll definitely pop this open. The Spear Heart might save my life. I hate when you get an all stats up and it doesn't even give you- Like, if it gave me a spirit heart, I would've been pissed. But if it gave me a regular heart, I would've been fine. The problem is that it gave me neither. So I'm just kind of in indignant and surprised. Like, really? Really? On the bright side, my damage is up. It's not through the roof, but it's up. And we should be able to make some progress here. Although, you know, playing as Isaac, it doesn't really matter if I beat the game. It's only, I think, Eve that I have to beat the game with. Um, okay, we could look for secret rooms. Why not? We're getting a little crazy here. Let's check uh, down here. And we got one more bomb to waste on our way to the boss room. I hope that it's here. Well, it wasn't, but we can go to the shop anyway because we have 99 keys. And maybe we'll get enough money to go to the shop on the next floor. And maybe we'll get enough money to compensate myself for the fact that I'm taking almost unbelievably dumb damage against Greed in situations where I shouldn't, unless I'm playing the Binding of Isaac for the first time in my entire life. But hey, extra bombs, extra money, shop is reasonably worthwhile. Oh, there is one more secret room location. Shop is reasonably worthwhile on the next floor. I can't believe we're only on Catacombs Part 2. Thought we were doing a little bit better than that, or a little bit faster than that at least. So I don't know what I'm hoping for. I guess Relic Drop would probably be the best thing for keeping me alive. Looks like I'm probably committed to this first life here and things are going to get... Oh, cool, Cuban meat. Uh, things are probably going to get much more difficult for me if we get down to life 8 and beyond. As we saw in that Conquest video where I ended up fighting him 10 times and losing 10 times on one heart. Dude's kind of an asshole. Pestilence, not so bad. Hey, there's the chance for an HP up. Can't reroll cube of meat anyway, and it's down to the next floor with two treasure rooms left. Unfortunately, if they have good items, then I won't even give myself the chance to reroll. We got another Isaac not responding glitch here. Are we gonna get all pink on me? I don't know why this happens. Uh, but I've had people in the comments say that it happens to them as well. So it's all good. I don't think it is a personal issue, even though it happens constantly, apparently. Please. There we go. Oh, it's a white glitch this time, not a, not a purple glitch, or pink glitch. Oh, and the Eternal Heart didn't even work. Alright, cool. Feels good, man. Well, I'm not gonna play the Blood Bank in this situation. For reasons that I think are pretty obvious. Just back the fuck out over here. Getting very concerned about the way things are going. If, if this run also ends in a situation where I'm fighting the same boss nine times in a row, and dying nine times in a row, I think I will finally be vindicated for saying how much I hate nine lives. I think it's just a garbage item. Money equals power. Sucks to reroll it, but we're gonna get a lot of chances to reroll on this floor, which is great. Range up. That probably applies. And now we have 15 cents. We can go back to the shop. Maybe get something awesome. Who knows? We do have nine volt, which we're not really making the best use of because of our you know, D6 as opposed to something that might get a little bit more handy. Nuns have it as well, sure, why not? I would love to buy the Spirit Heart for five cents. Something tells me we will probably get the opportunity to get the money for that. And if we get hit, even more rerolls, really. But I can't really afford to go to the Blood Bank or anything. Friends till the end, so we'll just rely on actually getting hit naturally. Holistically, if you will. 
And that is Guppy's Hairball! Oh my god! That was unexpected. So I've heard, yeah, with Guppy's Hairball, you can kind of swing around and cause it to hit people. Wow, that was totally unexpected. When I looked at it, I was like, poop? I gotta reroll this. That would have been devastating. Well, that's I guess that's one thing taken care of, then. I don't think that gives us a uh, Platinum God now. Because I do, as many people pointed out, at the time I beat, I beat the game as Eve, uh, I did have to, or I did use the Ankh, which caused me to become Blue Baby at the end. So I might not, but I might. We'll see. If not, then after this episode, we will just be moving on to Eve territory. I'm just so happy to finally have this fucking last item under my belt. Even if it is kind of trash. Cause, well, maybe not trash, but I'm having a hard time getting it to swing properly here. Seems like I'm going to get hit more often than I'm going to hit. I'm just going to do the same thing I do with Abel and basically just like, eh, you know, I have it, but if it does damage, good. If it doesn't, whatever. Man, that is a load off. So I can stop sweating playing as Isaac every time. I actually, oh, fuck. I actually can't stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually can't stop sweating because it is, as usual, despite living in the frozen north, hot as hell as it has been for like eight weeks now. Oh man, I'm looking for, I, this is like, most people watching this, I, it's hard to say actually, I'm not sure the proportions, but some people may or may not know that I lived in uh, South Korea for a year, I lived in Daegu, which is like probably the hottest city in South Korea, and my air conditioner broke. So for the whole summer, it was like 40 degrees Celsius, well, maybe like 35 degrees Celsius. Don't want to exaggerate too much here. And for a, for a Canadian boy who enjoys his cool weather, uh, it was hell. But it doesn't really matter when you're making videos, because you can't really have a fan on anyway. Because the white noise, even with a noise removal filter, is usually too high. So I just sit here, like, sweat my ass off, record a video, get a, like, ice-cold glass of water, and then go back to recording when I when I feel that I'm not going to get heat stroke. I feel like I'm... my, my Let's Playing Comfort. Not that this is an uncomfortable job in any situation, but it, my Let's Play Comfort is highest in the fall and the spring. And the winter, actually, because the heat isn't as loud. And it's deliciously comfortable. Well, we probably don't need that. We're basically fucked, by the way. I mean, we are dealing in red hearts again, which is good. But everything else about this situation is pretty bad, unless we get, like, we need lard or we need raw liver. We need something to carry us through. And beyond that, I also need Monstro to start lasering me. Oh, laser me, Monstro! And I need him to keep lasering me. Laser me, laser me. Okay, we got him. We got him. Continue going on this. A little bit more down this way. We are doing solid damage. Like, can't deny that. Now, probably wouldn't reroll a damage upgrade. I will reroll the crate, though. For an HP upgrade, which I think is smart. I would welcome Krampus here. Well, ask and ye shall receive. Sometimes. Eventually, in the case of Guppy's hairball. <laughs> Krampus seems to come out. You, you can almost predict it. It's like, if, have you had a deal with the devil? You're probably going to fight Krampus in your second deal with the devil. I would say Krampus maybe has like a 40% chance of being in the room if you haven't seen him before on this run. If you have, obviously it's a 0% chance. But... And I got those range upgrade pills, so... Like two range up pills, so I should be able to... Oh, I can reroll it! Pick up a luck foot instead. Burr, burr. That went pretty badly, but I guess all pills now have to be good pills. It's a little late for that, but... Would have preferred the lump of coal, but hey, can't always get what you want. We finally made it to the depths part too. And man, might I remind you, we have Guppy's hairball, the item we've been sweating for what, like two weeks now? Similar kind of, uh, nah, that's stupid. Similar kind of situation that we had with the parasite back in like January when I was trying to get Golden God. Man, have I really been playing this game for like almost a year? Answer: Yes. And I'm loving every minute of it. Well, most minutes of it. Lately, it's gotten a little bit draggy at times. As I try to survive, not in the game, in real life, uh, try to survive the perils of mental illness caused by the incredible frustration warranted when you only need one item, and that's the only item you can't seem to get. But that's all behind us now. You can start playing Isaac again normally, sort of. 
uh, as Eve, worrying about actually getting to the end, as opposed to just, you know, worrying about getting one single item and maximizing your chances of that in every possible way. But that's alright. I'm gonna see if there is the secret room right here, because if there is, we can bomb our way into the boss trap room. No such luck. We might be able to do it anyway if we come across a blood bag or something like that. But truth be told, I don't really care that much about making this run work. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, whatever. It's already done its part for us. And I am eternally grateful. So we can easily do a little bit of this. I'm gonna pick up the heart, and I'm gonna do it again. We are definitely gonna get more red hearts on this floor. It's it's almost a foregone conclusion, so. Increasing my chances of getting the blood bag, A-OK -okay with me. By the way, weird thing, you guys noticed that we haven't gotten any trinkets so far? That is unusual for this late in the game. Uh, eight ball, tears up, and a tarot card, we'll reroll that. Cat of nine tails, not, not as good, but... I suppose we could've just walked out, gotten another charge, and come back in, but... Something about cat of nine tails makes me feel like, uh... The bullets do more damage simply because of how fast they travel. Which is probably not true. But is maybe a healthy attitude to have towards an item that is otherwise not that good. Although, as people have pointed out, um, Cat of Ninetales is pretty good against zombies because normally you only get a chance to put in a couple of shots before they turn around and come at you, but Cat of Ninetales allows you to fit in a couple more before they like hit a wall and change direction or something. I'm doing surprisingly good damage here. Taking surprisingly good damage as well. Ill-advised position to dodge, but we made it out anyway. And there's our red heart. We lost half a spirit heart. But we got Cat of Nine Tails. Woo! We'll check over to the right here. We do only have one... Yes, one treasure room on this floor. And after that, we can pretty much just head straight for the boss. Or at the shop. I guess the shop would be worthwhile, too. I would love to get rid of D6 now. I mean, D6 is a great item. But we're not going to get that many more chances to use it. So we can get rid of it. Perhaps pick up a... Uh, I don't know. A better space bar item. Let's just put it that way. A nail. If I got, like, HP upgrade, deal with the devil, nail for two spirit hearts, I think I could make a, a run at this. Obviously, that's a very specific set of circumstances that might not come to fruition. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Just telling you some things that could happen that I would enjoy. The other thing, I guess, with Cat of Nine Tails is that my bullets travel faster than the Leaper's bullets, so I can kind of stand in their range. Not that I want to, but I, I can. Oh, got these hairball almost got me killed there. Almost got me hit at least. Greed again? Really? Well, we might get a chance to pick up another greed item here. I don't want a steam sale. If he gives me a quarter, it's alright. Well, just more money. So, because this is the devs part 2, we will go exploring for the treasure room, which I hope contains... Yeah, I guess I hope, I, I hope it contains lard. Because we just really need to stack health now. Our speed is fine. Pretty much everything about our... Our attributes apart from health is okay. Damage is fine. Can we make this happen a little bit faster? I mean, I would probably be dead if it was not for the fact that I could fly over these rocks right now. But... That's no excuse for taking forever. Cheers! Yeah, okay. That's a good item. And I guess we will just head uh, to the boss room now. Doesn't allow us to get any more spirit hearts, which is kind of what I was hoping for. But it does allow us to have a much greater chance of at least getting through Mom, who's going to spawn some asshole enemies for us here. But it's also going to take damage a little bit faster than usual, it seems. And I don't have to sweat the foot too, too much, because I can just kind of move through rocks, so my positioning is not crazy important. Well, I guess posi positioning is pretty much everything on this boss fight. Just gotta find like that one place where it's safe and hang out there for about two seconds until it's not safe anymore. And this will do it. That was really easy. We get an HP upgrade, very important. Polaroid, also of course very important if we're gonna intend on moving forward in any capacity. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We're gonna get the same glitch again? Oh, man. Well, I don't care as long as it still counts the fact that we got Guppy's hairball. That's okay with me. What do we have left? Four floors. We can make that happen. If the game will ever respond again. 
It's okay, then take your time. Um, yeah. There we go. Pink floor. A little known fact, it actually makes it easier. Little known fact, I'm a bold faced bold face liar in a lot of circumstances like this. To fill time. Do we have anything around here? Not really. Well, missing page. Gotta be careful because I don't want the tick to come down and just absolutely ruin my run. Don't really want to go to the spike sacrifice room. Or the self-sacrifice room. I have very confusing names for both of them. Unintentional, I assure you. And we will uh, just continue moving onwards here. Gertie Jr., total pain in the ass. Luckily, I got about 15 speed upgrades over the course of the game. So I am pretty much fast as hell. As long as I can dodge, I don't really have to worry too much. And I can abuse the shears, because every time I get hit, it's just going to make another 50% uh, of the charges. And every time, oh God, every time the room ends, I get another two charges. So that's all good. But I don't want to use it on rooms where it's unnecessary. Rooms where it would be seen as a waste, if you will. Gotta admit, we are kind of trucking through these rooms much faster than I imagined, though. I mean, there's usually like 20, 25 rooms on Utero. And we have seen about 8 of them. Okay, maybe that's... Maybe there's only like 20 rooms on Utero, like 18 to 20. It doesn't seem like there would be 25. That might be a little ridiculous. I've never actually done the math myself. Pop Shears there. Probably saved me from getting hit. I was getting a little scared. The weird thing about Shears is this is one of the few times where I actually don't need Shears for its ability to make me fly. I kind of just need it for its ability to wreck faces. I don't know why I find these guys so hard to dodge. I just walk into them every time. It's my brain is not like programmed. It's like, oh, Larry Jr., Larry Jr. It's not Larry Jr. It's the other one whose name I can never remember. I would really welcome a fight versus the Fallen and uh, a nail. I think Nail might be one of the only things to give me a chance to actually uh, beat Isaac and Blue Baby on this run. Because Lord knows, I need those spirit hearts. Especially to get through the chest, just like taking damage from random enemies, because... Stand pretty much no ch- oh my god. I might actually die in utero here, but it doesn't matter because I got Guppy's hairball. And that's a, it's a refreshing, freeing feeling. Like the taste of a delicious... Sprite Remix, which I am not sponsored by. I don't even know if they make that anymore. If the CEO of Yum Brands Marketing, which I think Sprite is a Coca-Cola product, wants to give me a Sprite Remix contract, you just let me know. I will hawk the shit out of Sprite Remix in Binding of Isaac episodes. Probably would be the, the end of your brand. There we go. Oh right, I have nine lives. <laughs> Probably would not be a good brand association. Do you like killing your mom's aborted fetuses? Try a Sprite Remix. Northern Line says it's super refreshing, and then goes off on a 20 minute tangent about some boy band group that has never existed. Sprite Remix, now available for the next 25 minutes, until I get fucking fired. Perhaps we can not die on this room and then defeat the next boss and move down to the next floor? That's my strategy. Nope, no such luck. <laughs> My strategy right now, yeah, just don't don't die on this floor. If I can just not die, I think I'll survive. Can I? God damn it! Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Oh man, I almost got into like a the one song from Zelda there. Keep it up, keep it up. Do 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 do. As you can see, I'm a very accomplished. Oh fuck me, I'm a very accomplished singer. Of of all the Zelda tunes, you know, I can do I can do that one. I can do 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 do. Ah, right, I'm on the womb. Every hit does double damage. This is getting pretty goddamn ridiculous. If only I had not taken nine lives, I feel like I'd be in a great position right now. But I did take nine lives, so I'm in a shitty position. I'm like Boston Bean dipping it right here. Don't know it. Don't look it up. I don't want to be held responsible for that. So, we will fight Conquest. Oh man, the the parallels and the symmetry between this and my last nine lives run. Run deep. So deep, so deep, Conquest put me to sleep. 
Well, on the bright side, we will get one Shears charge, like, every two fights. On the downside, we only have, like, one more fight after this. Maybe two after this. I can never remember. Is it life zero? Or is it life one that's your last life? Well, we'll find out. Oh, this is our last life. Okay. Shears, do your dirty work. We can make this happen. Probably. If we really focus and uh, get in the corners when those things come out. In fact, I should probably just stay in the corner like most of the time so I can't get hit by the purple shots either. Let, um, let Shears do his dirty work. And I'll just hang out over here. Apparently those things can't go over rocks. I think we might make it out of this. It's, I'm not going to say it's a long shot. Oh, I, I almost dodged right into it. I'm not going to say it's a long shot, but it is... Oh, he got me. But hey, it's all good. Guppy's hairball has come to fruition. And as always, I will see you guys next time when I guess we will play as Eve. Oh, I guess we should go back to the main menu. Very quickly. Still stop playing. How about our collection? All full, because this is um, just the original Isaac items. Missing nothing out of here, I think. So we can finally, finally just beat the game as Eve now. Let's check out our uh, stats. One secret remaining. Alright, well as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.